what's up guys welcome to my channel digital connect this is a channel dedicated for church media we are fusing faith and technology for impactful worship okay in today's tutorials i will share with you guys how you can simply build a large database of songs especially hymnals for your church and the process is going to be simple and straightforward for the purpose of these tutorials i'm going to use easy worship 7 but if you have easy worship 6 you can still follow along for those of you guys who have easy worship 2009 i haven't tried it yet so i wouldn't be able to tell if it can you can follow along with these tutorials or not 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 long ago i recorded this video the five pro tips for mastering easy worship this uh, the video i explain a lot of things in easy worship okay and one of the key tips i shared in this video is how to migrate your easy worship database okay so how to migrate your easy worship database from easy worship 7 sorry easy worship 6 to easy worship 7 or how to migrate your easy worship database from one computer to another or how to even back up your easy worship database i explain everything there so i will encourage you guys to watch these tutorials to know how you can keep your database safe so that if in case your machine crashes or if in case you want to migrate your database from one computer to another you are not going to lose your informations or your songs or your media database you have in the easy worship application for the purpose of these tutorials i'm going to use the methodist theme okay so you can check it on this website all right we are going to use the first scene that looks like this okay so the first thing we have to do here is to prepare our hymn then we will import it or take it to easy worship all right so first of all copy the entire team you want to import into easy worship copy it like this and then open notepad notepad on your pc then open it like this paste it and then make sure that you take out the numbers give it a name methodist hymn book 01 when all is done launch your easy worship application this is the interface of my easy worship 7 application before i demonstrate the simple way you can import songs into the easy worship application let me show you guys how those days i used to input their songs and i believe most of you guys also do the same thing if you want to input songs into easy worship you click on the song tab then you click on this plus icon here and then the song editor will open for you like this you copy the first sentence or the first stanza of your song you paste it like this then you add you go back you add again then you add you keep on adding until the song is complete this way of inputting songs into the easy worship database is kind of tedious and difficult so let me show you the simplest way you can input songs into the easy worship database to so open your song tab again and click the plus button over here when your song editor opens for you like this okay watch here look at this icon over here the arrow you have a, 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 a white green background with the arrow going top click on it like this and then look for the note parts you have prepared the song you have prepared in the note part okay i need my methodist in one this one so open it like this and then your songs are automatically populated into the easy worship database okay so when it is done like this then you can now indicate which part of the song is the chorus 
which part of the song is the verse one which part of the song is the verse two or which part of the song is the first stanza or the second stanza okay so let's see stanza one stanza one stanza one like this then we come to the next one maybe the second stanza this was stanza two and then the third one stanza three you can update it until the song is complete okay or if you want to input the verses you can do the same thing here okay? okay so when they are singing and then someone says, oh give me the method is in 155 the third stanza you can easily locate it and then project it for the person or method is in one the second stanza you can easily locate it and project it for the person requesting for it all right so this is the easiest way you can build the easy worship database so after you are done with everything just give it a, a name so i'll name method is in method is in book zero one save it like this and then you go okay and apply it okay so you can clearly see that it have been saved here okay so when i click on it like this you can see that this is it the method is seen is showing nicely here like this it's changing okay let me know in the comment section if this video is helpful to you and also make sure that if you've not subscribed to this channel you press on the subscribe button you press on the bell icon you press on the like button and then you leave a comment and make sure that i share my video so that others can also benefit and it's going to help the youtube algorithm also push this video to also help others who also need help like this guys thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video and i'll come your way with another wonderful tutorial thank you for sticking and have a very nice day bye bye